Hey guys, welcome to Ruthie's Reading Room. I'm Ruthie and I'm here with my buddy Ja. I think. Do you see him? Where did that little rascal go? Hmm. Oh, there you are, Ja. He's taking a nap. It's time for story time. He's here to join me for our story today. And I hope that you have your little buddy with you too. If not, I'll give you a moment to go and get your stuffy or your favorite reading buddy to join you for story time today. Run and come back now. All right, are all my friends back and ready for our story today? All right, let's see. Usually, I choose the book first, right? I think I'm gonna check on you before I do that. Make sure we're really ready to go, right, Ja? Put you over here for a second. Okay, so let's put our listening ears on and put our hands in our lap. Now you can be sitting on the carpet in front of me or you can be in a comfy chair or maybe even just sitting at a table. Wherever you wanna read is all right with me. Let's just make sure we are ready to go. Yes, okay, very good. Everybody is ready. Hi, I see you waving. Perfect. Thank you for coming to story time. Let's see which book is coming off the shelf next. Okay, so today we have Dream Big Little One. This one is written by Vashti Harrison. If you joined me for story time last time, you might remember that name. Vashti Harrison was the person who drew the pictures. Yeah for Solway, that story, do you remember? Excellent. All right, so we're ready to go, right, Ja? He's ready, how about you? Yeah, I can tell you're ready. Let's start. Oh, I'm blocking Ja. We're running out of places to put you so you can see, huh? Let's go like that. And I will make the pictures nice and big for you at home, okay? Dream big, little one. There's so much you can do. Just look at all the leaders who came before you. Reach for the stars like May, Bessie, and Catherine. May Jemison went all the way to space. Are any of you into outer space stuff like rockets and looking at the planets. Yeah, well, Mae Jemison went to space. Bessie Coleman flew her airplane high. Who likes watching airplanes fly over? Do any of you live close to an airport and get to see that all the time? Probably noisy too, right? Katherine Johnson help send a man to the moon. Imagine being part of that. Amazing. Be bold like Josephine, Shirley, and Maya. Josephine Baker was a singer, a dancer, and a spy. Oh, anyone into 007? James Bond. <laughs> Shirley Chisholm ran for president. Maya Angelou used her voice every way she could. Go the distance like Wilma, Raven, and Florence. Wilma Rudolph couldn't walk but learned to run. Interesting. Raven Wilkinson danced all around the world. Florence Joyner was the fastest woman of all time. Wow. I'm sure there's some of you who are really speedy runners out there, aren't there? You like to go and have races against your friend? Who's the fastest in the class? Who's the fastest in the school? I know my little guy likes doing that. Find your stage like Ella, Nina, Oprah, Gwen, and Michelle. Ella Fitzgerald was the first lady of jazz. Nina Simone had a style all her own. 
Oprah Winfrey shined her light on others. Oh, Ja, you're really liking this one. All these different people we're learning about. Gwen Ifill reported the truth. Michelle Nichols trekked through the stars on TV. Express your creativity like Alma, Augusta, Octavia, and Julie. Alma Woodsy Thomas painted her whole life and became a star at 80. Wow, it's never too late to do what you're supposed to do in this world, isn't it? Augusta Savage sculpted toys when she had none. Octavia E. Butler created magical worlds. Julie Dash shared untold stories in the movies she made. Wherever you go, whatever you do, be bold and dream big. The world is waiting for you. It's true. There's so much waiting out there for you. Just use your creativity and work really hard and you can achieve your goals. That's the lesson I'm taking from this book. We met a lot of different people, didn't we? Yes, we did. And they're all black women who have made a difference in our history and our current world today. So another great learning story today where we learned about real life people. I like doing that, learning about people who actually lived and did these amazing things. I hope you enjoyed the story today and will join me again soon in Ruthie's reading room. Right, Ja? Come on over. And remember, the best place to read is wherever you are with a book. Join us next time, guys. See you soon. Bye. Ruthie's Reddit.